folks and welcome to Dogman Homestead. This is the second video in the series of the beginning years when I first purchased the property back in 2014. Uh, this video will cover uh, the initial cleanup, putting on the roof, and the bathroom uh, renovation which was totally gutted. Uh, I will show you the stages in which I did the bathroom and uh, you know it's a lot of work finding these photos i'm having to go to not only my computer but facebook and if you've ever had to scroll through your photos on facebook you know how difficult that is and how tedious that is but i'm finding them i'm going to put these out in maybe 10 15 minute videos and uh just kind of show you the beginnings of you know and and it's still ongoing uh so you can kind of get a better feel of what all has had to happen here to make it livable all right guys uh, enjoy the video and happy trails after purchasing this rundown a-frame cabin in 2014 funds were tight there was not a lot of money for building materials so I embarked on cleaning up the land trimming trees finding out where the water was draining to uh, a lot of different things when you don't know a place that you have to find out and fix any issues that have happened to be there uh, that's me in the bucket of a John Deere tractor doing a horrible job on a cedar tree cutting limbs a lot of the limbs were hanging so low you couldn't drive a vehicle even in the driveway and that is where my current fire pit sits back there is a way you couldn't even see the mountains behind the property because of all the tall trees the Chinese privet the weeds so I slowly began cutting away at that I started putting down trails there were so many rocks you had to do something with them so I figured why not put a bunch of trails in and I ended up putting in about 900 and I believe 980 feet of trail and maintaining those trails is a job in itself because you're still getting grass and weeds so in the summer I'll cut those probably three times a year and that is my failed attempt, attempt at a garden uh, <laughs> that's actually in a flood zone a lot of the water collects there that is a ditch I dug to divert water away from the dog's yard. Before any work could begin inside, it was obvious that the roof had to be replaced immediately. This is the west side of the house that catches all the weather. And there is the 26 foot long sheets of metal roofing damage had to be repaired that is over the bathroom uh, the old power pole actually came up through there and a tree fell down put a hole in the roof this is the east side of the house it, it was the first one to get done that was a big mistake putting that part on first because as you can see now he made it slippery and it was very difficult to roof a frames are not fun houses to put a roof on and then those sheets that are coming next are the 26 foot long sheets and here this side is all finished and then I believe we had some bad weather coming in and he had it was the next week before he could start on the other side as you can see that is not look that does not look fun no safety harnesses nothing and this would have been taking place I think in February of Fort or 15 and there it is that very very weekend after he put that up it snowed and there he is putting the ridge cap on. I actually won a uh, award for that photo in a photography contest. 
and that is not me and then next what had to happen is the patio sliding door had to be replaced and this is how I did it I took two windows out of the laundry room that I was planning on tearing down and put them next to the door I think it turned out pretty good and this would undergo several different color schemes until I discovered figured on uh, settled on one there's the inside there it is all trimmed out that was later taken down and uh, you'll see in a future video where it's all cedar these as again I say these are the early pictures After the roof was on, I began work on installing a new bathroom. If you've seen in my previous video, the old bathroom was disgusting. Now this bathroom had a raised floor in it when I purchased the cabin, and I don't know why. I don't know if they built it and they didn't put plumbing in initially, but there was nothing else I could do but to put another raised floor in it. Uh, so it was just the way the plumbing was and believe me I am not a plumber and I still am not a plumber. I can get it done enough to use it Here's a new new toilet going in and I Made a lot of mistakes in the bathroom. I will probably end up tearing the whole bathroom down again and redoing it now. This is the shower I put in I put it up on a raised platform the plumbing the old shower was in front of it so I had to reroute some plumbing and that has worked out fantastic I've never had a problem with the shower and what I did is I took four feet from the bedroom and I added on to the bathroom because it was so small you couldn't move every time I went to the hardware store the sheetrock was a different color this was the uh, mildew free sheetrock <laughs> so it looks like a jigsaw puzzle and I put a little knee wall there by the toilet. Here's another shot uh, after the shower and the floor are installed. A very small space to work in. So yes, I added four feet to accommodate a bigger shower and a closet. There I'm running the new pecs. I am definitely not a plumber. Or my, I, I've gotten pretty good at electrical now, though. But those were skills uh, I didn't really have uh, coming into this. That's the back wall of the bathroom. You can see it from the living room. Uh, you know, a lot of this was trial and error. There's the closet I'm starting to line with cedar. I build my own cabinets. I refuse to go buy store-bought cabinets, so I build them all right on the wall. And this is the bathroom sink. Took a slab of cedar, sanded it down, finished it in polyurethane, and I put a vessel sink on. That's not a very good picture, but it's a, a vessel sink I installed. And the knee wall by the toilet which comes in handy trying to get off of the thing. Kind of gives you, I was thinking of myself in later years and I could put some handles there. And there's after I got the cedar put in. I wish I would not have put screws in it. There's a cabinet I built that goes over the toilet. I built all my own cabinets. And the fixture for the light. Got that installed. And the light fixture. Which a week later I broke one of the globes. And you can't find a replacement. And it sits that way today. And I build my own doors. And that is a big heavy door. And I might also add there are steel plates all the way around in that bathroom so it acts as a tornado shelter as well and I build my own drawers C 
cedar at the time was very inexpensive so I probably overdid it in the cabin with cedar but you know it, it, it got the job done and this is the old bedroom which I converted into a laundry room because I will never go in that bedroom to sleep after seeing it the first time thanks for watching folks uh, that concludes this episode uh, I will be having probably three or four more I've got a lot of pictures left we move on to the living room putting the cedar up everywhere putting too much cedar up everywhere uh, a lot of changes will be made in the future when I first started working with cedar I didn't really know what I was doing I put screws in a lot of it uh, then I moved on to a brad nailer which is the way to do it uh, a lot of the cedar was green when I bought it, and I did not put them smack together. I gapped them. Well, what happens is as it dries out, it shrinks, so I got big gaps in it. Um, it's a learning experience. Uh, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Kind of gives you a, a little bit of an idea of what all I had to do to get this place up and running. All right, guys. I appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. Uh, I currently have projects going on right now. I'm building a big deck in the back off of the loft. And I'm also building right underneath it a screened-in patio. And then I'm also building a big storage room uh, off to the side of it. So there's going to be a lot of content, a lot of building. I'm not an expert, but I get it done. Uh, it may not be perfect, but it works for me. Happy trails.